So often, you know, it's funny. I mean, I, I count on sales to make a living pretty much in all the things I do, really, uh, at whatever level you are. CEOs are the basically the, C, the top salesperson of the organization. But if you think about sales like um, a three-year-old asking another three-year-old, hey, you wanna go play on the monkey bars? If you influence them to go play on the monkey bars, you basically made a sale. If you say to someone, hey, I'd like to go on a bike ride, and they go on a bike ride with you, well, you just made a sale to go on a bike ride. The funny thing though is, you know, as we get older, uh, what happens is in society, we end up in an emotion called covert hostility. Um, and when you break down all these different emotions, covert hostility, people think that you have some sort of angle, like you're probably, you might be thinking, I'm actually videotaping this for some angle or some reason or some purpose, right? Um, in actuality, you're wrong. I don't really have a covert purpose for actually sharing this information. Um, basically, it's just really sharing. And a lot of people will make a sale or try and make a sale at the general emotional tone of society, which is that covert hostility, that uh, just above, just below anger or fear. People will jump right into fear right away. And the thing is, if you sit with somebody and you take the time to develop rapport, they'll come out of fear of thinking that you have some sort of angle, come out of the covert hostile kind of thing about you know what's going on here. And you can start to build rapport. And as you build rapport, before you present anything to them, get to know them as a human being, get to know them as your family, what's, you know, what's going on in their world. Where are they in this moment? Are they thinking about something? Because if you're trying to present a product or service to somebody or an investment to somebody who's you know, stuck thinking about something else, you don't even have their attention. And part of the thing is it's difficult to make a sale or even to have somebody do something when they're stuck somewhere else. So you wanna make sure that they're present and in that moment to be able to build them up because really the emotional level, the frequency that's gonna work is you've gotta get them at least up to conservative, uh, which is above like that destructive, angry you know, spectrum and really get them kind of thinking, um, a little bit bored, but interested, a little tiny bit interested. Um, and then you wanna get them to the point where they're maybe really interested and maybe excited or cheerful about what you're talking about and maybe even enthusiastic those are the that's the range so in order to get people there you've got a, a lot of times you have to listen to where they're at and their upsets and what's going on in their life in that moment so that you can kind of break them up uh, that that stuckness so that you can really present your product or service because uh, hopefully you're presenting a product or service that actually will benefit and help them in life and has features and benefits that they actually want and you help them obtain the things that are gonna make their life better. I mean, that's really what sales are about, right? Is pulling somebody from the playground and going and having a good time on the monkey bars. If sales ever feels like selling, then you're just not good at it. I hate to say that, but um, it's, it's true. You, it should feel like sharing, it should feel like giving, it should feel like you're not selling. You're just basically inviting somebody to the playground. So I'm Andrew Cartwright, I hope this helps. This is just so that if you're in the sales business or maybe you work with somebody in it or maybe you just get sold to, that you realize that when you're getting sold to, you really wanna be at a place where you have attention and you feel good about what you're, what you're buying. So anyways, have a great day. I'm Andrew Cartwright and I hope this is useful for you. Take care. Selling shouldn't feel like selling, should feel like sharing.